I've probably been shooting VR a lot longer than anybody thinks I have because I used to do it for the military and for the Pentagon. But I can only say so much about that in public. These days, I'm more interested in doing dramatic VR and telling stories with it, but I want to tell virtual stories that are longer and more dramatic and more immersive than the way people are v using VR these days. You have to rethink the language of filmmaking. So you can't, you can't cut to a close-up because you can't change every lens on a VR camera. Because the only thing that changes if you change lenses is the aspect ratio. So you have to bring the story to the camera more than you bring the camera to the story in VR. You kind of have to abandon a hundred years of, of filmic storytelling convention and reinvent the way that you present the story to your viewers. Reinvent the way that you walk the actors to the action. You have to reinvent the, the length of time that you can stay on something just because you can't engage the viewer with cuts, with fast cuts, with camera movement, with camera action. You have to do it with the story and you have to do it by bringing the actors and, and the momentum of the story to the camera. I don't think that VR is going to disrupt regular filmmaking and narrative storytelling. I think it's going to augment it. If you make a movie and then you make a designed VR piece to accompany it, you really only enhance the audience's experience of that, that story or that movie or that piece of media that you're trying to give to them. You give them another way to see it. Once immersive media and VR have been around long enough, once enough kids have grown up watching it and evolving it, it will turn into something that it ought to be rather than waiting for us, the traditional filmmakers, to finally make sense of it. I think it has to evolve in the consciousness of the audience. The kids have to make it theirs before it will succeed.